So what's going on, everybody? So, so I've been seeing a lot of people talking about this Donald Trump thing and the shooting, and I was just going to go on and give my little opinion about everything and how I feel about it, give y'all my take about it, you know what I mean, and where I think it's headed and where I think it's leading. It's all a bunch of psychotic shit to me. This world is just so psychotic, man. This is nothing but greed, hatred. It's nothing but selfishness now. This world is nothing to me, man. You know what I mean? And everything's fucking changing on a daily. It's went to shit, y'all. We're heading to hell in a handbasket. I'm sorry to tell you guys. But the world's heading to hell in a handbasket. I know a lot of people out there that can vouch for me. And it really ain't just about fucking Trump. And it ain't about white people speaking up about Trump and shit like that. And it ain't about the black community steadily blinging up fucking slavery back in the 1600s and shit like that. Because all that smack whack shit's way past now. That's way out of date. Especially how y'all keep a new trend every fucking week. And y'all know what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? So it's the culture, right? But if it's the culture, then what the fuck is the culture doing for the community? If the community's poor, then we all look poor. If one of us is weak, we all look weak. Because we all started this shit together, if you ain't noticed yet. And a lot of people can vouch for me because I come from fucking slavery towns. You know what I'm saying? I was raised in a slavery town. All that smack whack shit's for the birds, man. This fucking world is, it's, is shit and you know it. And every one of us knows it. And it's poisoning our youth. It's poisoning my children. It's poisoning my kids. And yes, I am going to fucking speak on it. Am I an activist or a community activist or somebody that wants to speak out about shit? No, sir. I have no fucking wish whatsoever to speak to you people about nothing that pertains to this world. Anything that was way back when, I want to hear about it. I want to know about it. I still want to see it. All that old shit that people keep playing back from the 90s. I listen to that. I watch that. You know why? It ain't because I lived through it. I was born in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? So how would I know about that phase? I wouldn't start knowing about that till the early 2000s. You know what I'm saying? I was 10 years old when it was 2000. You see what I'm saying? All this smack whack shit, y'all, is just for the birds. I grew up in a time and an era where st was, stuff was still seemed like f stuff was fair. Like the world was fair a little bit more. I remember going to the store back when I was a little kid. And, you know, the little candy stores and shit like that and being able to go with $5 and come back out of there and feel good about something and go home and tell your parents that you made good grades, play a football team, and do what the hell you're supposed to do in life. You know what I mean? Nothing's like that no more. This world's not nothing like it used to be, y'all. So I'm not going to sit here and talk your fucking head off you guys about anything. I don't really... My point doesn't matter. Like I said, a lot of people can vouch for me on what I'm saying. I know that my... My opinion doesn't matter. I know that my opinion don't count. I don't even vote. I didn't vote for Donald Trump. I didn't vote for fucking Joe Biden. I didn't vote for nobody. I don't. I vote for the Lord, man. I'm telling you, this world is going to hell in a handbasket, guys. I'm telling y'all, y'all know it. We know it. You see it on a daily. The seven seals are coming. Something's going to happen soon. And even if, you know, I'm not just speaking Christianity here. Y'all heard how much I've already done. You know, if my demeanor's changed already in the five, ten minutes of me speaking, it's just because I'm done with the fake shit. I'm done with fake people. I'm done with fake shit. I'm done with the lies. I'm done with the deceitfulness, the games, the hatred, the fucking swindling. It's nothing but greed and hatred now. These brothers are killing each other over fucking nothing. The black community speaking on this and that and this and that and left and right and this and that. But they're steadily fucking killing each other like fucking flies. You see what I'm saying? Even the white people are with the shit. So if we're all on the bowl, it can't be just one fucking comparison or one race. It can't just be the white race and the black race, you see what I'm saying, that's on the bowl. We all have to take fucking a credibility for being with the shit. Because all of our race has been with the shit for quite some time. And if you catch in my lingo on what I'm saying, it would not be poisoning our youth like it is to this day. See, all this shit has done is poison our kids. It's poisoning my kids, you see what I'm saying? It poisoned me when I was younger. This YouTube shit and all this shit, y'all ain't nothing but poison, y'all. It's, it's poisoning your brains. It's leaking it out to you. The ends of times is coming, guys. Whether we see it now, whether, we see, whether I see it in this lifetime, or your kids' kids see it, this shit's coming to an end, dude. 
this is not life. You know what I'm saying? This is not the way life should be treated. You know what I'm saying? And this is not the way life should be lived. God said in the ends of times, and like I said, I'm not speaking Christianity to nobody. I'm just talking about what some of the things that I've learned, some of the words that taught me things, and some of God's words that's helped me at, along the way as I go. You see what I'm saying? So on another note, without sitting here talking my head off to you guys, because I'm not trying to, I'm just giving my take on the Donald Trump shooting. I'm giving my take on all the shootings, man. I'm giving my take on the world in general. I'm giving my take on my perception of things and how I perceive things. You see what I'm saying? So, like I said, in the ends of times, God said brothers will kill brothers, didn't he? He said your own brothers will kill their own brothers. You see what I'm saying? Or brothers will kill their own brothers, basically, right? It also said in the ends of times that mothers will be against their own daughters. Is that not going on in this day right now and age? In this time and age that we're living in right now, is that not, do we not see that right now? You see that cycle every day. You see another brother killing another brother. Hell, my own, you know, children are having problems right now. And I really feel like it's all from this corrupt ass shit that these people keep leaking out to my family and everyone else and to the world that we live in today. Because it's all as easy as just reaching to your phone. You have a supercomputer right in the palm of your hand. Your phone is a supercomputer, right? If you don't know how to take a fucking engine apart out of a car, your phone can damn near tell you step by step what to do. You see what I'm saying? If you're smart enough to read directions and you're smart enough to watch the videos and you're smart enough to put two and two together, you see what I'm saying? You know, I'm not the smartest fucking guy in the, in the block. And I'm going to be fucking honest with you. I don't have a high school education and all that shit. I came from the fucking trenches, dude. And this is about as much as you'll hear from me. But like I said, all this just pertains to the Donald Trump shooting. And also, and I'm going to put this in there as well. I'm not fucking speaking in behalf of Donald Trump or no fucking body. I didn't vote for Trump. I didn't vote for nobody. I'm telling you this much. I'm, I'm saying what's going on with Trump is fucked up, though. What's going on with all our other leaders is fucked up, though. What's going on with brothers killing brothers is fucked up, though. What's going on with fucking mothers talking uh, against their own daughters, you know, backlashing them, talking back to them, disrespectful shit. All that shit is fucked up, man, to me. All of it is disrespectful. It's not right. I don't want nothing to do with it. I want to segregate myself completely from it. And that's about as real as I can get with anybody. You see what I'm saying? If I post some dumb content and somebody doesn't like it, you know why I post it? Because I don't care if they don't like it. You see what I'm saying? I don't really care about all these, you know, people's badass content and all this shit they're selling out there on the streets. Because all of it is is they're just selling you a bunch of fucking wolf tickets and entertainment. Learn from that fucking entertainment because I can't learn a fucking thing from none of this shit. The one thing I can learn from is that in the ends of times, listen to this, guys. Hear me out. In the ends of times, brothers will kill brothers and mothers will be against their own daughters. Is that not happening right now? You see what I'm saying? And I ain't even talking about no Christianity stuff and just God stuff and church and everything. I've seen pastors at churches take the benevolence funds and go out to the casino and gamble it away. So how in the fuck am I going to speak on a bunch of churches and stuff? The church is the most corrupt place of the world. Some of them. Not all of them. Not all of them. You see what I'm saying? But I'm just speaking on some of the things. Now, I have had my experience with a lot of problems. Like I've already said, I hear a lot of people speaking about this Trump shooting, y'all. And they'll give a little piece of their history with it. And then they'll talk about Donald J. Trump and this and the shooting and America and all this shit. And all of it's boiling down and pertaining to. And the people that actually is making some fucking sense. It, 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 you know what they, I get out of their whole story? That of everything they fucking said, you know what I get out of it? And that this world's coming to an end, dude. That's what the fuck I get out of this shit. You see what I'm saying? So, excuse my language, YouTube. Excuse my language. I hope that YouTube doesn't, uh, you know what I'm saying, demonetize my content for this, guys. I hope you guys don't that. I, I always publish my videos as well as I can. I do not try to curse in any of my videos. Like I said, my life was hard, guys. I was, I was going through a lot of stuff growing up. You see what I'm saying? My dad was in the Navy. He was very hard on me, man. And when I say that, I say that in, you know, 
I try to paint you guys the most, the mentalist picture I can because I don't get on here and tell everybody my whole life story like everybody else does and tell everybody and get on IG Live and Instagram Live and t 